And as we watch that, Malcolm Grimston, what are your thoughts? That's, I mean, that, that, it's still speculating. One possibility of that is a hydrogen oxygen explosion. That's quite an energetic one. Uh, or some sort of chemical explosion from the, you know, they do use oil and, and, uh, and other things within the plant. But that is a, that's a uh, big explosion. I, still, I very strongly suspect that's not an actual nuclear explosion in the sense that nuclear materials were involved in that. The issue is that if that's damaged the containment, the nuclear materials may be able to escape uh, from that because this far into the accident it's very difficult to imagine that the nuclear process could restart, although that is certainly something which, which will be investigated. Um, uh, what strikes uh, people, I'm sure, about watching a couple of things, as you say, whether that has caused damage in itself. I mean, presumably, at a plant like that, an explosion is something you want to avoid. Well, an explosion of that size is, is serious. There's, there's no doubt about that. And if it, uh, it, it depends on... Firstly, whether it was actually explosion within the containment, which I'm, I'm, we just don't know as yet. Mm. Um, one thing we do know is that if that did involve the nuclear thing, we'll be seeing very high levels of contamination mm. very quickly. So information should be becoming available as to what type of, of, of explosion it was. But clearly that's a very energetic explosion to be, to be doing that. We're not looking here at something collapsing because of the effects of the earthquake, yeah. which was one possibility. That, that's clearly not the case.